All right, so let's get started. Uh, welcome to the Board of Architectural Review meeting of the Village of Mamaroneck for June 18th. Um, the, uh, we have only uh, three members of the board here, which uh, does constitute a quorum, but if anybody is, uh, any applicants feel that they would uh, prefer to have a larger board representation, they are certainly free to defer their application without prejudice to a next meeting. Um, and that, oh, and uh, I, I know there's at least one neighbor on the call, but um, certainly uh, public comments are welcome, even encouraged. So um, if, if you would like to ask a question or make a comment uh, at any time, um, I think, Joe, the procedure right is that they raise their hand and, uh, and you can bring them into the discussion, right? Correct. Yeah, if they raise their hand, I will uh, allow them to talk, which will basically allow them to uh, unmute their microphone and they can talk. Okay. All right. So that said, let's uh, get started. Uh, the first uh, issue, I guess, is uh, the approval of the minutes uh, from the preceding meeting. Um, does anyone have any comments on those? Okay. You guys can take turns, I guess, motioning and seconding each other. I motion. <laughs> I'll second. Okay. <laughs> Either you change your mind and the post. <laughs> okay. That'd um, be nice to see that. <laughs> uh, I think he's going to put on a different hat now. All right. Well, okay. So the, those are uh, passed. And um, there being no old business, we'll proceed to the new business. Um, so first on the agenda is um, 805 Mamaroneck Avenue, uh, Chipotle sign. Chipotle! Oh, that was completely unnecessary and unprofessional. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, everyone's going to be so happy to have it if we pass the sign. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hi, Daniela. Hi, how are you? I'm sorry, is that my computer is very low, the volume, but um, yeah, we're proposing for sign A. Um, it's a 12 by 30 inch sign, 12 foot by 30 inch sign. And um, I mean, let me share. Do you have give it on the computer that you can share the screen? Um, yes, right. give me one second. I don't know why my computer is being a little slow. Um, I'm sorry. Give me one second. You want me to try and do it? Okay, so here are the drawings. This is the Chipotle building and the sign will be um, this one. We're doing a separate application for, well, this, this will be the sign. We're doing a separate application for, for this elevation. Okay, so the picture on the left is not up for discussion now, just the, 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 just the sign facing the parking lot? Correct. No, I think it's the other way, isn't it? It's this one. Um, yes, hold on. Give me one second. I think the Mamaroneck or yeah, Mamaroneck Avenue sign is the one we're voting on, not the parking lot one, right? It should be. Um, that's the main one. That's the one that's the street address. That's what it should be. Hmm. Give me one second. I apologize. I wasn't aware that we were going to be the first ones. Yes. 
There you go. So this is the one that we're proposing, and this is the one for today's meeting. Okay. Okay, so we should and, note, um, uh, Barbara, that we're only proposing, then we're only considering here the um, Marinick Avenue uh, sign. Correct. So this is the sign. It's um, it's an illuminated sign, and it's going to be um, right above the entrance. And um, hopefully, it gets approved. This one meets the code. Um, we initially we had it a, a bit uh, bigger, but then you know, based on the code, they told us to make it 30 inches tall. So um, now it should be up to code. Right. All right. Okay. Do you guys have any questions? Uh, I'm curious why you're only going for the one sign. Right. Um, we tried to go for both, but we were told that it wasn't the second one wasn't allowed and it would have to be with variance and it's a whole separate application which we we have um, started working on as well, but they told us we have to do, you know, a meeting per per sign. Yeah, they wanted well, two signs of the same size, which is not right. allowed. Right. So because uh, they don't yeah. want the second one to be half the size, I'm guessing they're going to go to zoning. Yeah, exactly. You'll have to go back to zoning if you wanted to both be the same size. If you correct, want. yeah. The, the rule is one your main sign it can be one thing, and the other sign can be half that. So yeah. That's yeah, that's what we're working on. So for now, they told us, you know, we need to do a meeting for for the first sign. So regarding the second sign that will be um, on the parking lot side, that one, it's a whole separate um, application. Okay. All right. So we're just approving the one sign. Um, anybody have any comments on that sign? Looks like well, every other Chipotle sign I've seen, so I'm good. I know it's the branded sign, right? Yeah. Correct. And it looks like you spelled Chipotle correctly, so I guess we're uh, <laughs> not much else to say. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I mean, yeah, there, there isn't much to say about it, I think. So, um, right. So, your turn, Athena, unless. A motion. I'll second. Any opposed? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So that we're approved then that the one sign only then. Okay. Perfect. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> when do you, you expect to open? <laughs> I mean, there's <laughs> you're excited. <laughs> um, yes, they're yes, still the working. <laughs> A burrito. They're still working on everything. I mean, the sooner you guys approve everything, the sooner the better, you know? Awesome. Well, I'm glad this box is checked. Got to get the <laughs> Thank you so much. Good luck, guys. Have a good evening. Bye. You too. All right. So next on the agenda is uh, 538 uh, Stanley Avenue. Yes, good morning. I mean, good afternoon. Hi. <laughs> good evening. <Good> evening. <laughs> it's been a long day. Um, yes. <laughs> Let me uh, share my screen here. Thank you. Let's see.
All right, is, uh, has everyone seen this? There we are, yes. Okay. Yes. So uh, we are proposing a 5.4 kW grid tied photovoltaic system at 538 Stanley Avenue in the Marinac. And I think uh, this is probably one of the best looking uh, in terms of being hidden uh, solar systems that we have designed in a very long time uh, based on the layout of the house. So there's gonna be 15 panels facing Southwest, as you see here. And I'll show you some pictures of superimposed images So this is pretty much the best thing we uh, came up with because there's a lot of trees mm -hmm. that are, you know, uh, on the property. So this portion of the system is pretty much all you would see. And I'll show you uh, some more photos of the house. So this picture is without the panels and this will be the another angle of uh, the house down the street. I'm only seeing one picture. Is anybody here? Just one picture. picture. picture whole time. You're seeing the same picture. Wow. Hold on. Yeah, maybe uh, minimize the one that's up. Or it's maybe lag. Yeah, <clears throat> probably lag. Are you guys seeing this one? Same one. We see one that that shows the house. You can sort of see that you know there's a telephone pole in front. Uh, let's see. It says solar panels on it. You want to try to stop sharing your screen and then like reshare it with the yeah yeah. yeah. It might work. <clears throat> I can see your service is kind of bad. That just might have something to do with it. It's uh it's in red. <clears throat> All right, we can see it now. Yep. All right, so I'll try to go through one by one. So this is um, another photo. Are you guys seeing this? I just clicked on it. Not expanding. It's just a, th it's a thumbnail. You can see it, but it's a little bitty. Really? Uh, maybe you gotta double click on it or something. Is it full screen on your screen, uh, Terrell? It is, it is, it is full screen. I think it's just what you're seeing is lagging behind what we're seeing. So I'll just leave it. Maybe you can like uh, buffer out. I, I don't know, I have full, I have full bars here. Oh, hold on. Let's see. Let me stop sharing again. Because those weren't sent to us, right? The ones with them superimposed, those photos, I don't think we received. Oh, they, they were sent. Oh, they were? Yeah, they were. Okay. Well, then they're here and I am missing it. So, well, it's slow. Just have it full screen and then share it. Yeah, there you go. Okay. That's the same picture we saw before, though. Yeah. All right. I'm going to try to click and see if you guys, uh, did you guys see the... Photo change. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Okay. All right. Okay. This so, is side with no solar panels. Right? Yeah. There's no uh, panels going on the back here at all. And this is another angle further down the street. Um, I mean, these trees are pretty much going to block out the entire array. Yeah. So. And, and to be honest with you, even if they didn't, you know, it doesn't seem like a bad place to put them anyway. Especially if the, you know, the house is brown, panels are gonna be all black, so kind of goes together once it's completed. Um, is and recall, all, it's a, a rectangular layout, but with one missing? Right. Yes, uh, to go around a, a, a vent. Yeah. I can show you the, uh, the layout again. So 
So it's just a, a circular vent here and roof access points will be on the back. Yeah, we're not seeing your plan. It's just the same picture, I'm afraid. Really? <laughs> but, <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess stop sharing and then whatever picture you want full screen, just have it like already loaded up. All right. What about just, now? Yeah. 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 There you go. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, yeah. Actually works out pretty well. Okay. And yeah, I mean, I don't have any comments on it. I mean, it's uh, like you said, it's pretty well hidden. It's on the side of the house. Where else are you going to put them? Face the south. I mean, what can you say? Anybody have any comments? I'm okay with it. Athena? Nope, no comments. Okay, so if uh, there being no objections, does Cindy, it's your turn, I think. My motion. <laughs> I second. Any opposed? Okay, that's fine then and uh, looks good. So uh, thank you and uh, Daryl and- Thank you very much. Have a, Have a nice evening. evening. Or yes. Morning or afternoon or whatever it is. Morning and afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, um, so now we're moving back to our neighbor, Cindy. And, uh, yep. 971 okay. Orienta. Yeah. Okay. Um, so 971 Orienta. I think that's, uh, yeah, there it goes. Oh, hi, hi everybody. Uh, hold on, I'm just gonna start my video. Hi, hope all is well. Uh, my name is Thomas Haynes from Haynes Architecture. Hi, Barbara, I haven't seen you in a long time. Yeah. Um, hope all you all have been healthy. Um, prepare, uh, proposing an application tonight before you for 971 Orienta. We are proposing an in-ground pool with surrounding patio uh, located to the northeast side of the dwelling. Uh, if I may share my screen, I could walk you through the plan briefly and I'd be happy to answer any questions. Okay. Thank you. Okay, um, so I just wanted to show you a couple adjacent neighboring photos. Um, this photo that's up on the screen, can everybody see this clearly? Yes. Okay, so this photo is the neighboring house to the left of the, of the subject property. This uh, photo here is the right of the subject property. And this is the neighboring house across the street. Okay, so if, looking at it from the street view, we're proposing our pool right in, in this location on the right side yard, adjacent, or right behind this fence, adjacent to the neighbors has, uh, the neighbor to the right side has an existing pool in that location as well. So mm -hmm. um, obviously that worked out kind of well for us that it's pool to pool, which makes sense. Um, but moreover, if you look at their existing plot plan, um, it just from the, um, the configuration of the existing plot plan, it's a, uh, it's a perfect location in here. So right in here is the boundaries of the existing dwelling, if you could see my cursor moving around. Yeah. There's an existing mm -hmm. wood platform located in here. And currently the, the yard is very, very well screened. So they have, um, and this wasn't done by a landscape architect or, or indicated on the survey, but just from visiting the site and surveying myself, this uh, along the left-hand side of the property, right across the rear, and then down on the right-hand side is very, very well um, screened, screened visually with existing dense planting. There's also an existing uh, fence that's located here across the front side, which we can see back in the photo of, or the street view here. So this fence is existing here. So part of our project as well is to propose a fence as well, because we're gonna use the house as the barrier for the in-ground pool. So we need a fence and a gate. So it's gonna go from, there's a one story structure in the side here that you can't see from the street, um, but we're gonna go from that structure, which is, on the site plan right here. So we're gonna enclose from this corner over to the left, if you could see my cursor moving. That mm -hmm. fence that we're locating there is gonna be a black aluminum fence, um, see-through. It's, it's not opaque. It would look like this is a, an elevation drawing of it right here on the top right side of the, the 
image here on the screen. Uh, we chose that fence because if you can see it from the front yard, at least it's, it's, you know, it's more attractive. There's currently an existing chain link fence uh, located on the left side of the property and the rear of the property, which blends in very nicely because it has all such dense landscaping around it. Uh, but we didn't want to propose a chain link fence across the front with the gate. So um, I think that was a nice touch and that would work really nice for the house. It does mention across on the right hand side, so from the right corner of that garage running in the east direction or northeast direction is um, that existing vinyl fence. And running um, in the westerly direction is an existing solid wood fence also, which will double up as a sa uh, safety fence for the pool. <clears throat> and as mentioned before, I have a, there's an existing fence across the entire rear and then back down on the left side. So the pool we're proposing is an in-ground gunite pool. Um, it's going to be 1,404 square feet located on the right. So it's 18 foot, by, well, it, the total impervious area is 1,404 square feet. The pool size itself is 18 by 38 feet in, in, uh, in depth in the front of the back dimension. We're proposing um, the pool is going to have a coping that's approximately 12 inches, so one foot coping around the perimeter. I could zoom in a little bit so it's a little clearer to see here. So this one foot dimension is just indicating this coping around the pool, and then we'll have a three foot clear walkway around that. So from the water's edge to the outside of the walk walking surface would be a total of four feet. Um, we wanted to just have a little bit more comfortable feel walking around. We didn't really want anybody falling in accidentally if it was too narrow. We felt that scale and proportion wise, it worked out best to do that. Um, we are proposing in from our existing wood platform on grade here, a, a set of double stepping stones keeping in the same language that existed here. So these stepping stones from the front gate back exist. And we are going to tie in bluestone stepping stones uh, right across from that wood platform to gain us access to the pool. Um, as mentioned, again, this three foot walkway is because our access is coming in at the halfway, you know, well, it's a little bit above the halfway point of the pool. So one would have to actually turn down, walk east and into the actual, what we're considering the patio area here, which would have some lounge chairs. Um, that's pretty much it for the pool itself, but I'd like to show you um, the a sample of the pavers that we, we're proposing. Um, I apologize for the switching of these screens. So it's an um, it's a Unilock Umbriano um, paver patio. Uh, it's a it's a light gray color. We wanted to go with the lighter gray color because of um, you know we toyed around going with a blue stone patio, but I, I think that that you know the blue stone just has a tendency being so dark to just take in too much heat that's really around a pool. Uh, and this will balance nicely with the um, with the stepping stones and the grass around the property. Uh, at this time, uh, that pretty much concludes the presentation. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. Okay, well, I would defer to our own pool expert uh, here, Athena. Um. <laughs> Where is Athena? <laughs> I'm here. Um, <laughs> no, I think it, it looks great. I think um, I built a pool, it's a bit smaller, but and a lot of the same considerations in terms of, um, we did a porcelain, but a light gray also to keep the heat down. Okay. Um, I think my biggest concern is actually not purview of this board, but I want to mention it only because we bike that road quite often. Um, I think that strip of Orienta is quite tight and right around the corner. Um, so my concern is, is um, more material access because you're going to be taking out so much dirt. Is mm -hmm. that coming straight out that yard? So what's going to happen is, is you're talking about the construction. So the construction access would be would be here in this. Can you see my cursor moving? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So construction access would be through here. I and recall then, there's a tree there, uh, rather yeah, nice well, tree, as I recall. Exactly. So we're, the goal is is Maybe to, two. to keep the landscaping and the, and the mature trees. But um, we've discussed it with the pool contractor, and he informed us that he can come through the front here. Um, he did say that they would remove a section of the fence. And then they would actually be, you know, constructing obviously back in this area. So we propose silt fence all around the uh, the existing. Um, the goal is to take off as much fill as you know. To, we're trying not to take away much fill here. Um, 
there's some depressions in here. I mean, for the most part, it's relatively level land, but the goal is, is obviously just to work with the pitch of the patio. We're gonna take a lot of the fill that is excavated out of here and spread it around the property, just, just to level off uneven areas and such. But the goal is, is really to minimize the amount of, of you know, material takeaway from the site. Yeah, so I think, you know, my concern again, Barbara, is more just keeping an eye on um, on the amount of uh, blockage of the traffic, yeah. just because again, that realm of Orienta is very narrow and there's no sidewalk um, and there's a lot of bikers right now. I think um, there is a sidewalk, isn't there? There's a sidewalk on one side and then it's there. to the other. It, it ends right before there, doesn't it? But then there's switches to the other side of the street. Oh, okay. Well, so yes, yeah, so this is her. Yeah, there's so, a sidewalk on her whole side. Okay, there. so that's good at least. Yeah. Um, and then it switches to the other side of the street just past that. Well, and it is a tricky corner as you're coming from Orienta on right onto yes, Orienta. And people it, there's a the top sign. A blind spot. It is it's tricky there because I know this because my friends live in the house next door, mm -hmm. pool to pool. Okay. And I remember when they were doing their renovations. So and, I think, you know, they moved their driveway even because, you know, there's a lot of traffic coming in. Yeah, right? it's okay. it's a very tricky section of the block. And I just fear with people running that stop sign and um, a lot of bikers out. And again, this is not like a necessarily yeah. official mm -hmm. on the record type of scenario. Sure. But more of a, a, a request that, that the construction manager is mindful mm -hmm. um, because there's a lot of kids out biking right now. Um, and I assume that will continue given given what we've got going. Um, and so just to be mindful, it's, I remember from my project, it's just, it takes, you know, the fill is one thing, but you have the machines going in and out, you have the gunite coming. Um, so it's just a very, I remember it being a very utilized strip. Um, and so I think my request would more just be to, to be mindful of, um, of that strip being potentially um, tricky for pedestrians and bikers with that much machinery coming in and out. Okay, understood. Uh, also, guys, uh, one of the guests, uh, Lisa, has her hand raised. She just okay. let me know when she's good to talk. I'll, uh, I'd also like to correct that the, the, the construction would be entering in and out, out of the driveway and going around. Yeah, I would say there's trees that didn't look like they're going through those trees, yeah. Okay, well, let's hear from, uh, I'm sorry, I missed the neighbor's name. Um, uh, Lisa. Lisa, okay. I'm going to unmute her. It might be the owner. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm actually the owner of Orient. I just wanted to clarify that there is a sidewalk and the trucks would be coming in uh, from the driveway section, the not not the front. Correct. Yeah, that's why I just corrected that. Yep. I think I saw you the other day. There is you had some uh, people trees. working on the trees, right? Yeah, we were trimming a bunch of the trees around. Yeah, and you came out and talked to them as I was walking by. You probably. <laughs> <laughs> Are you in the neighborhood? Yeah, we're all in the neighborhood. <laughs> it's a great neighborhood. <laughs> it is a great neighborhood. No, and I think it's a beautiful, you know, I can't see your side yard, but when we bike by, I would, you have a very large side yard, so I think it'll be a beautiful addition. The materials look good. Um, so, uh, you know, in terms of what's purview of this board, I'm, I'm good with everything. So. Okay. Is there a, another neighborhood? Uh, you wanted to speak, Joe? Uh, no, so far it was just Lisa with her hand raised. Okay. I know there was someone listening. I wasn't sure. We're getting some feedback all of a sudden. Um, oh, no, maybe it's me for some reason. Okay. All right. Um, okay. This, uh, and that was, those were good uh, questions, Athena. Uh, anybody have any other comments? Or? Any anybody being you, Cindy? <laughs> yeah, Bill, I I don't really. How about you? Did you? Is there no. anything you wanted to? No, I I, I obviously ask. walked past it the other day, and you know it's, I mean, the obvious place to put a pool, and I mean mm -hmm. it's a pretty nice natural fit. That you know, it's if you're going to put a pool, it's why not? So, One other um, quick question, uh, Tom. I noticed the connection to the Coltex, but where are the Coltex? Sorry, I was just unmuting myself. The Coltec units are going to be right along the right side here of the, of the right adjacent okay, to the patio. Yeah, so we're, we're keeping them close with the excavation just so we don't 
disturb yep. more than we really need to. Yep. Cool. All right, I'll motion. And I'll second. Opposed? Okay. Thank, thank you all very much. I really appreciate your time. Good luck. Cool. Have a good one. Thank you. Enjoy okay. the pool. Thank you. I have a hand raised, by the way, Bill. He just oh. raised his hand. Oh, okay. Like just right. now. <laughs> I'll uh, okay. let him talk. Hold on. It's Kirby. All right. Uh, let me just. That's right. I knew. Oh, it does. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. I just wondered is what you were just talking about the pool equipment? I didn't understand that word. <laughs> you said. No, no. So okay. the. um. Would you like me to answer? Yeah, mm -hmm. go ahead. Uh, okay. Yeah. No, the, the pool equipment, which we actually didn't touch on, is actually going to be tucked here behind the vinyl fence at the front. So it's going to be to the right side of the garage, uh -huh. which is attached attached to the dwelling. Sure. So that's the actual pool equipment. So there is no noise or anything to the property line. Uh, the the What we were just discussing was the stormwater chambers, oh, okay. which have to collect the, the impervious stormwater runoff on the patio itself with linear drains, and they're buried, you know, six six to seven feet below ground. And again, we're, we're, we're locating that adjacent to the right edge of the patio itself. So we're still 50, almost 16 feet away from the right-hand property line, and we're probably 50-something feet away from the this rear the property one. line. Okay, thank you. Okay, sure. Okay. So I guess we, well, we already voted, so I guess uh, we okay. did. we're all good. All right, thank you everybody. Have a great night. Thanks. Okay, Bye, Tom. Yes. thank you. Bye. Bye. All right, a short meeting tonight. Yeah, that so was Barbara, good. I guess our next meeting then is the 16th of July. Yes. So what? One concern just I wanted to mention. So that's a full month away and we're coming out of like COVID, um, I think depression where we're gonna see a lot. Um, so I don't, I don't disagree that we should cancel the next meeting, but I am a little afraid of wh how many applications we're gonna have for that next no, but meeting. The thing is, because the first is a Wednesday, the first Tuesday and the third Thursday are only nine days apart. I can't have two agendas, two sets of minutes, all that within nine days. It just okay. can't happen. I don't okay. disagree with you, but do, I do. I, you ever do you ever limit how many um, applications we take on one evening? Is, no, is that, because there's nothing in writing that says we can do that. Oh, and people would make me crazy if I tried to get away with it. Well, I'm just I'm waiting for the second meeting. This way, it gives people an extra week. Okay, so we'll hope for the best. <laughs> I know it could be the <laughs> last. Was it the last one? That, I think the last two were a little bit long. Sometimes they're longer on Zoom when people have to share yeah. their screens and whatnot. The last, the last, last two have been very was short. long because of the new house. The neighbors at the new house. Yeah. Oh gosh! Right. Right, because of the tree and this and that. If the neighbors the, the tree it, huggers yeah. were in full force that night. I mean, I can't blame them. Every, you know, you have questions. <laughs> right. The tree huggers. I huh? can. <laughs> I, you know, I did have a um we, I also, mean, I we also have Stuart. We also had Stuart. I suppose yeah, he was actually for, quick. He didn't go on for too long. I like oh. that one. I think he's. I think he's figured out that nothing happens. <laughs> but, well, wait. Um, do you guys, Athena? I was laughing with Athena. What about our cantilever guy a few weeks ago? A few, a few times ago, the cantilevered. Yeah. Right. He sounded definitely like he had been having some cocktails before that meeting. <laughs> <laughs> that was making me laugh, but. Um. Do you think we'll get back to our old mode of operating anytime? I mean, when the governor opens up, or what are you all thinking about Zooming? You miss it. Um, with, with an ER doc on our committee, I'm much less confident that I will be sitting in a room um, with him. <laughs> yeah, I, and not to be mean, but no, like, no. The exposure there is. Well, just you realize he hasn't gone to the ER because he's, uh, you know, he has, uh, I think, lymphoma and he, well, he will eventually, right? 
Well, well, he's he was in he's in remission, but he yeah, but he he has he's immunocompromised, so he okay. is keeping away from it probably more so than we are. Okay, good because um, we're still isolating. Like the kids are not like yeah, we're we're pretty. It is not easy with every kid in the yeah, neighborhood. Well, I, I think that I th I imagine the short answer to that is even as things start to get back to where you're having meetings, wow. you know, we'd have to. You know, I don't think you throw everybody in. I imagine there'll be allowances and things for it. But I don't know. Anyway, we haven't heard anything as far as I know, right, Barbara? Mm -hmm. I haven't heard anything. I'm assuming it's going to be whatever the governor says. Yeah. But I have no intention of being in a room full of people anytime soon. Okay. Well, without Barbara and Athena, it's not much of a party <laughs> anyway. So what can we do? Sorry, the antibodies. <laughs> <Our> time. <laughs> I guess we'll be zooming away for a while. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I so. And I guess uh, yeah. we'll have to see what happened with Andrew. Um, right. Definitely he's fine. And um, Barbara, one quick thing: if it is um, a packed agenda, can it would make it a little easier if for the Dropbox stuff. If you almost, I don't know if this is too much to ask, but sent one email per address and then I can just, oh. it's an easy move to each folder. Yeah, I um, can do that. That's fine. Okay, cool. That's not a big deal. It just means you guys getting more emails. That's all. That's all right. It's easier for me to, <laughs> when it's a lot, it, I get like a little confused. <laughs> okay. Thanks for doing that, Athena. Oh, no problem. All right, okay. cool. All right, we'll hope for the best, exactly. And- um, Prepare for the worst and hope for the best. <laughs> right, well, we have a month to think yeah. about it or not yeah. think about it exactly. at all, right? Yeah, you got a whole month left. Enjoy your uh, 4th of July. Uh, Non-firework event. No, right. no, no fireworks, but presumably that those uh, orange lilies will still come up. Yeah, it's been a beautiful, hasn't been it been a beautiful firework. spring? Enjoy the wonderful, area we all live in folks yep likewise okay bye, guys bye all right. bye bye, bye guys hey goodbye